you will have seen this plot earlier in the playlist and it shows you the temperature within a greenhouse across a 24 hour period and if you look at these these are circular markers that i employed to be put on the graph to give more visual feedback to the viewer of the graph now i can arrange for these circles to be a different shape as you can see here we've got a rather bold looking x replacing all of the circles we can also use other shapes here you can see i've got x's again but they're drawn with very thin lines moving on we can also show that the markers can be a hexagon that's a shape with six sides as you can observe we've also got this where we simply have a horizontal line let's return to this plot that we've seen many times before and i'm going to look at the computer program responsible for the production of this graph and you can see it's come into view now now i am not going to explain what any of the lines of code do this has been covered earlier in the playlist i'm going to concentrate on the bit of the code responsible for deciding what the shape of the markers are going to be and in the case of this program we're looking at this here where the marker has been assigned in quotes lowercase o and this will produce the markers that we've just seen the circular ones and just to remind you the shape looks like this moving on i'm now going to look what happens when we alter the code by making the marker assigned uppercase x in quotes and what we will see is this shape appearing now this shape is an example of a filled marker and i'll come back to what that means a little bit later in the video but we can see when we make marker equal in quote uppercase x you can see the shape we get now what i'm going to do is move on and if you look here you can see that the marker has been assigned in quote x but it's not uppercase x it's lowercase x and the shape we'll see for that is appearing now and you can see it is an x but it's drawn with thinner lines now this kind of marker is referred to as an example of an unfilled marker and again i'll come on to discuss this a little later in this video now moving on you can see here that i've changed marker to be assigned in quotes lowercase h and when this computer programs run this is the shape that you will get moving on again you can see i've now changed the marker to an underscore and when we run this program you can see this is the shape we get for the marker let's move on to the next slide where you can see we have a list of all the filled markers we can use when we're choosing the shape of the markers for the plot this one for example is the lowercase o and we know we get this shape this one is the lowercase h which we know gives us this shape and this one here is the uppercase x we know will give us this shape here and this for example which i haven't shown you in the code will give you this shape so you've got a list here of all of the one character strings and the shapes that they will give you moving on to the next slide we can see we have another list of unfilled markers an example of which we've seen in the code that i've written which is this here the lower case x which you can see gives us this x on the plot which is the thinner drawn x it's drawn with thinner lines unlike when we use the uppercase x and of course you can see here this is the underscore which gives you this horizontal line drawn on the graph with respect to this list look at these you can see they are all one character strings because they appear in quotes whereas if you look at the ones i'm highlighting now they are not one character strings they are the numbers they are the numerals from zero through to eleven so if you were to consider using this two here 
for example, and it's in the quote, you get this shape. Whereas if you use the two not in the quotes, you get this shape here. If you were to use the four in quotes, you get this shape. If you were to use the four not being in quotes, you get this shape here. But all of these are assigned to marker, and you will get the shape shown. It's just important that you note which ones are the one-string characters and which ones are not characters. My recommendation is that you enter this computer program and look to here and alter this, run the program, alter it again, run the program, and alter it according to the list that I've just floated into position on the slide. Now, these lists were taken from the Matplotlib documentation.